basically the Compaq 1000, um, it's a thousand pound hoist. First thing you need to know is what, what type of hoist you're riding. Your anchorage point is going to have to be capable of supporting four times that, um, or 4,000 pounds in this case. So we've got a motor connected to a gearbox, um, a control box on it with an up down and emergency stop uh, button on it. And then here we have what's called a Skylock, um, which is a man riding brake uh, required by OSHA. The idea behind the Skylock is if, you know, when the primary brake um, is holding this motor in the air, let's say the shaft on the motor were to snap or um, the motor, the brake would fail, the motor would want to go into a free fall. Um, the Skylock here has jaws inside of it that will actually engage and clamp onto the wire rope once it senses an overspeed condition, somewhere around 70 feet per minute. The, the Compact 1000 hoist runs on 220 volt power. Um, it's uh, plus or minus 10% um, and it runs at 35 feet per minute. So the Skylock will engage in roughly twice the, once it, once it senses speeds, twice the rated, lo, rated speed of the hoist. Um, several pre-operational checks you're going to want to do on a hoist before you put it in service. Number one, um, the emergency stop button, just push it in. It's in flashing green light to let you know the e-stop is on. You want to just test the up and down switch, making sure you're getting no motion, making sure the e-stop is working properly. A quarter turn, the e-stop will pop out, quarter turn to the right. Um, you'll notice the solid green light. Um, that means that uh, we're in run or go ready to run condition. You want to again check that switch in the up and in the down position, just making sure that the switch returns to the off or neutral position.